y'all welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video I know it's been so long since I've posted you guys two months to be exact I cannot believe that it's been that long since I've posted on my channel I ended up dropping the ball completely when it came to just fall decoration videos and showing you guys what I got for fall this year. This was my first year decorating and I was a little disappointed that I did not eventually end up showing you guys all that stuff because I did want to have that stuff up for just memories and stuff like that but I did drop the ball on that but I might end up showing you guys all the fall stuff that I did have up when I end up, put, when I end up putting up my Christmas decoration um, I don't have my Christmas decoration up yet actually as you guys can tell by the title of this video I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I picked up this year so a little background information on me and us in general last year was the first year we got to decorate for Christmas in general so I did end up going a little bit crazy when I purchased some decorations but not too crazy because our house was at least 800 square feet or a little bit over that so there wasn't much to decorate so I bought some stuff but a lot of other things I ended up getting from my father he passed it down to me so yeah when we moved to this house this year I was really really excited because I wanted to purchase more decoration of course because now we're in a house that's almost 2,000 square feet. Yeah, by the title of this video, as you guys can see, I'm going to just be showing you guys all the little decoration I got for Christmas this year. Well, I guess I shouldn't say little. First thing I wanted to share with you guys are these big ornaments that I got from Hobby Lobby. And they really stuck out to me because of course of how big they are. And they are shatterproof as well and I really like that about them. I know I can keep these ornaments forever and when we have kids I don't have to worry about them breaking and I can use them yearly. So yeah, um, I got these from Hobby Lobby like I said and they were having their 50% off deal. And the red ones were $15.99 and I got one pack of these and I got two pack of these white ones and these were $14.99 and I really really love just how big they are I think they're gonna really make a statement on our tree we decided to do a real Christmas tree this year and I'm really excited about that which is actually why I'm sitting in front of it this is the first year I've had a real Christmas tree the next thing I got from Hobby Lobby are these Christmas trees I actually have a set of these from last year and I actually was so disappointed in myself last year where I only bought one of this tree and one of this one and I told myself if I go next year and I see them again I'll definitely buy another set and I definitely got lucky and I'm so happy about that so yeah Hobby Lobby was having their 50% off sale like I said and this big one was $19.99 so $20 so I got it for $10 with it being 50% off and the small one was $11.99 so $6 so I think that's a really good deal for this Christmas tree I definitely feel like Hobby Lobby should bring down their prices on most of their decoration because some things I feel like are just a little too expensive for the store but I don't know I think they're really beautiful so yeah I can't wait to use these guys I'm really excited that I have two sets now last but not least from Hobby Lobby I got these floral stems and I chose them to be our tree topper this year last year I did a star and I think it looked a little cheap compared to just our whole tree so I'm really excited to do something different this year um, I fell in love with this piece when I went in Hobby Lobby and I knew I wanted it to be the front piece basically the centerpiece of the tree topper and this one was $23.99 and they were having a 50% off sale so I got it for half of that and these gray ones were $13.99 and I got two of them and yeah I just can't wait to use them I think they'll make a really nice statement piece these are like the colors I'm doing this year for our Christmas tree I'm going for a red white gold silver 
type of theme I wanted to mix all that together I didn't want to just do mixed metals I did want to add a pop of red just so it can feel a little bit traditional so yeah I'm really next on the list is Walmart and I got these beautiful wreaths you guys oh my gosh aren't they gorgeous I cannot wait to use them I wanted a tree that was flopped this year but we ended up doing a real Christmas tree so when I seen these wreaths I knew I had to have them I plan on using it on our French doors in our home these were $9.98 a piece at Walmart and I thought that was such a great deal because Christmas Christmas wreaths can be really expensive you guys like you can pay up to a hundred dollars and then some for a wreath so the fact that these were only ten dollars just two cents shy of ten dollars I thought that was a really good deal and I cannot wait to use this and decorate our home I plan on decorating tomorrow so yeah you guys definitely don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. The next thing I got from Walmart are these ornaments. They are actually glass ornaments. They're not shatterproof, so I don't know how long they got, these guys will last us. I hope they last us a, quite a few while. But I thought they were really pretty because they're just red with the white snowflakes on them. So they basically co correspond to of the colors that I want to do for Christmas this year. I don't remember exactly how much these were. I think they're $4 and some change if I'm not mistaken but yeah I thought these were really cute and they come in four in a pack so that's a really good deal you guys Walmart is such a great place to go for affordable Christmas decoration the next thing we got from Walmart are these ornaments and they just have our birth month on them mine is the red one and it's July and the blue one is my fiance and it's March and he actually picked these out they were actually really cheap for how beautiful they are they were I think two dollars and some change 297 or 247 if I'm not mistaken um, behind his it just says health and courage and behind mine it says strength and nobility and it just has a little quote on top of it for our birthday month and I thought that would look really cute on our tree this year and every year it's something that we'll have and I'm pretty sure when we have kids we'll just go ahead and add on to it and get their birthday month as well so yeah I thought these were really cute for the price last thing I got from Walmart is this throw for our couch I think it's a really pretty and it looks really cozy and I like the fact that it's gray and white I think it will transition really well for even after Christmas I plan on using it year-round um, it was $8.88 if I'm not mistaken they're actually a little small they're 50 inches by 60 I plan on getting another one and sewing them both together just so it can be really big for the couch next spot I want to share with you guys if you don't go eat there then you don't know that they have some of the most beautiful Christmas decoration and every year they put it out so beautifully and have their Christmas trees decorated to the nines they're definitely Christmas tree decoration goals for sure and that is crackle barrel and I I got these pillow candles from there and they were $8.99 a piece and I absolutely love these they have like deers and trees like embedded into the candle and they're just really pretty I think they're called the woodland scenery pillar candles if I'm not mistaken and for them to be $8.99 a piece and just to get all this detail that you're getting in the candle the next thing I got from Crackle Barrel are these coasters and I thought they were really pretty they were $3.99 for the pack and I think it's six that comes in a pack if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna count here right now it's actually four that comes in a pack so yeah $3.99 for four so you're basically paying a dollar for each and I think that's really a good deal for the design that you're getting on these coasters the next spot I want to share with y'all is Kirkland's and I got these beautiful Christmas trees from there I can't wait to use them I got them for our entertainment center and they actually light up and that's what really made me want to get them they were $16.99 a piece but they were having a sale as well I did go Christmas shopping on Black Friday because I did want to make sure I got the best bang for my buck so I got these for $10 a piece 
Yeah, they were $10.89 a piece if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know how much that was on the percentage. I don't really remember. But yeah, these were really a good deal for $10 a piece. So I got both of them for $20. And like I said, they do light up. You do have to plug it in. And I do have two outlets on my entertainment center on the each opposite side. So I can't wait to use these guys and make the living room light up and look really pretty. I think these will look really good next Next to our Christmas tree and just bring in the living room so well so yeah if you guys have a local Kirkland's near you definitely stop by and see if you have these there before they all run out they do have them in a much bigger size next thing I got from Kirkland's are these candle holders it's actually a set of three and it was $29.99 but I got these I don't remember for how much I got these, you guys. I think I got these for 40% off. It might have been 25% off. I'm not really sure. But I did do the math before I purchased them, so I knew I was getting it for a good deal before I bought them. I just lost my receipt, so I don't really remember how much they were, but I can't wait to use these guys. I plan on putting these on our dining room table and just use them year round as a centerpiece. I do have some candles to already go in there. I'm not gonna burn real candles in them because I just don't wanna risk messing the holders, the candle holders up, but I do have some LED light candle holders that I'm gonna put in candles that I'm gonna put in here. So yeah, I can't wait to use these guys. Um, I don't know if Kirk Kirkland's is still having their sale, so if you stop by and get this, you might end up paying the whole $30, but I still think that's a really good deal just for what you're getting because they are really big. I haven't removed them from the box yet. Um, I don't really want to do it until my decorate with me video. So yeah, if you guys want to see them out of the box, then definitely stick around and subscribe so you can see that. Yeah, I want to share with you guys, I can't link everything down below because it's from my local Goodwill. So you guys are just going to have to go and check out your local Goodwill and see what holiday decorations they happen to have over there. But I happen to always find really good stuff there. You guys know that everybody is always getting new decorations every year. That means there's always someone getting rid of decorations. In Goodwill, you can get stuff for so cheap, such a good price. So yeah, I got these candle holder bases, whatever you want to use them for. I think I'm going to use them as candle holders, but for now, I'm going to end up putting a Christmas tree on them. I did get these for our entertainment center on for our entertainment center in our living room. And these were $2.99 a piece, so $3, so $6 for these big vases. Like, I could not believe it. My fiance actually found these, and once we seen them, I knew I had to have them. I actually had the perfect idea for them as soon as I seen them. Next thing I got from my local Goodwill is this beautiful Christmas present box and my fiance found this one as well so credit to him again and this guy actually lights light up you guys and we did test it before we bought it and it's so beautiful and I'm so excited that I got it and it was $4.99 so I got it for $5 I cannot believe how cheap this was last but not least from Goodwill I actually didn't get these from my local Goodwill I got these from my mom's local Goodwill and I've come to find out that her local Goodwill is actually a little cheaper than mine you'll just find things randomly there that it's just so cheap Cheap. you can't believe it and these are one of those things these are some candles that I found of course Christmas candles I actually got these last year and when I found them I actually got them after Christmas and I said I wanted to share it with you guys so you can definitely see what I mean when I say go to your local Goodwill and see what you find I got this big one and it's in a deer candle holder which is so cute and it was a dollar and 92 cents and for this big candle, I can't believe how cheap this was. I can't even imagine how much the original owner paid for this. And the smaller one that's in a shape of a Christmas box, it's in the scent cinnamon and I got it for $2. I don't really know why the smaller one is more expensive than the bigger one, probably because 
this one was burnt for a little bit but not that much so yeah you guys definitely don't sleep on your local goodwill go check it out and if that goodwill didn't have something good to definitely go to the goodwill 20 minutes from you 30 minutes from you and keep on checking it out because you never know what you might find the next spot I want to share with you guys is Dollar Tree and I love going to Dollar Tree because I feel like every year their Christmas game steps up to the next level and they definitely have something that's just mind-blowing and so cute and the first thing I want to share with y'all are these Christmas mugs that I got and they're just snowman Christmas mugs I got two one for me and my fiance and I just thought they would look really cute on our coffee buffet the next thing I got from Dollar Tree is just this cute little floral piece I guess you can say um, I thought they were really nice to add the pop of red that I do want to do throughout our home. So yeah, I think I'm going to end up using these on the buffet as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, these were a dollar a piece and they're really cute. They just have some berries on them, some acorns, and some... Oh god, I don't want to butcher the name of these flowers, so I'm not even going to try to say it because I know I'm going to fumble it. Last but not least from Dollar Tree, they always have some really cute holiday candles. I'm so sad I did not eventually end up sharing with you guys the fall candles that I got from there, but I did get a couple for Christmas, and this one is in the scent Roasted Marshmallow. And I remember this one smelling really good. I remember getting a candle from Ollie's not too long ago. And I think it's in the, oh my goodness, you guys. It smells so good. Yeah, for this to be a dollar in a Dollar Tree candle, this smells really good. Um, if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on Bath & Body Works roasted marshmallow fireside, then definitely go pick you up a few of these from Dollar Tree and burn it throughout your house. It will definitely give you the same effect for sure. And the next one that I got is this one, is in, and it's in the scent Frosted Cranberries. And I think this one smelled really good too. Yeah, you guys, this one smells really good, and I like the fact that it was red. I felt like it would go really well with our decor because we are using red throughout the house. So I got a few of these. Dollar Tree also has these cute little candles, and you will find them for every season, every year. And this one, it says it's the most wonderful time of the year on it, and I thought it was really cute. It's actually not doing too much. That's actually all that's on the candle. And then we have this candle right here that's actually doing a lot more than the last one. It's got some snowflakes and some plaid on it, and I think it looks really cute. And then and we have another one right here and it just has some stockings hanging on it and I think they're so cute I did get some really good ones for fall and I feel so bad like I said because I didn't eventually end up showing you guys all right guys that was it for my Christmas decor haul for 2019 don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up on your way out and definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get to see what I did with all of this decoration that I got this year I can't wait to put all this stuff up in my space and yeah definitely don't forget to leave me a comment as well down below letting me know that you're a new subscriber and I will see you guys in the next video bye y'all